The Arab League meeting took place in the League's headquarters in Cairo. The foreign ministers of the Arab nation slammed Israel for its siege on Gaza. They further demanded that aid be immediately allowed to enter Gaza. During the Arab League foreign ministers meeting, they called for the immediate dispatch of food, fuel and humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. And they further urged Israel to reconsider its unjust decision to cut the electricity supply and water to Gaza. During the emergency meeting, the Arab League chief, Ahmad Abulgeth, warned that there was a serious possibility that the situation could get out of control. He further called for both sides to exercise self-restraint. Israel has cut off the water supply, food, electricity and other essential supplies to Gaza. This after Saturday's massive assault by Hamas militants that killed thousands on both sides. And in retaliation, Israel has been relentlessly bombarding the Gaza Strip for five days now. Airstrikes are ripping apart residential buildings, mosques, factories and shops in the Gaza Strip. Gaza is one of the most densely populated places on the planet. The 362 square kilometer strip of land is home to approximately 2.3 million people. Gaza officials say that over 1,300 people have been killed since Israel started the air and artillery strikes. And officials also saying approximately 535 residential buildings were destroyed in the Gaza Strip, leaving around 250,000 homeless. Reports further saying Israeli warplanes destroyed over 22,000 housing units, 10 health institutions and 48 schools since the attack started on Saturday. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.